Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm now realizing why this camera battery is always dead because sometimes when I press stop for recording, I forget to actually turn the camera off. And so it's left running the entire time. It's currently 7.45 p.m. on a Sunday. Would I say we had an easy Sunday? Probably, but the last two nights have been so tired because the first night out of the two, I didn't get any break at work so ghetto just mainly because we were understaffed and then we had people who worked 16 hour shifts and if we're prioritizing breaks those people would have had to get a break first and so i was the only person who did not have a relief and so I had to take that one to the chest. I got like a hot 30 minutes. And Hold on, honey. And all I could possibly do was get something to eat and go back in that room. I was on one-to-one. -one. You know, just not great. And that wasn't even a choice because the girl who was scheduled for the one-to-one -one was sick. So she didn't even end up coming. Thank God she came last night. Because I don't know what that was like. So, um, that was the night before last night. Last night now, um, you know, I got break. Like, everything was going great. I'm on the floor. It's time for my break. A patient finds the family room that we sleep in. He's in there praying. You can't kick him out. So now, and ironically, I saw the patient walking around before he got to the family room. And I was telling my friend, I'm like, listen, it looks like this might be one of your patients because he's coming from your district but he's walking around and you know obviously you gotta watch your patients for elopement because sometimes people end up to the hospital however they ended up there and they just decide that they no longer want to be there they want to go home whether it be because they feel like they're not getting the care that they need nobody's taking them seriously whatever sometimes just plain confused they want to go home okay so we're always having to pay attention to that and make sure that nobody is trying to just leave with their hep locks in and everything, you know? So I tell her, only to find out a few minutes later, the patient was making his way to the family room. And if I went there before him, he would have probably still come there, but he wouldn't have stayed. Cause later on I heard that he left the room and when he came back, staff was in there and he just went somewhere else to pray, you know? Obviously whoever was in there didn't know that he was occupying the room prior to because otherwise we won't um you know go there because if he needs that private space to pray then you know he just does so that was last night so i ended up having to go outside and sleep in my friend's car not gonna lie that shit was kind of good we reclined the, the seat she went to the store she bought me an almond joy i put my blanket underneath my neck like a travel pillow straight z's okay that was some good sleep too so i'm like listen going forward I might have to go outside in the cars. <laughs> I might have to go outside in my friend's cars because that was too good. And also that was on the side of the street, but obviously it was the both of us in there. Um, my other friend that I go to work with all the time, she parks in the parking lot, which means that it's not going to be any crackheads in there or anything because the parking lot is enclosed. You have to scan it with your um, ID to like get in there and everything. So, you know, it's safe to go there and essentially sleep in your, in a car, you know? But that was some pretty decent sleep. All I remember is her leaving the car and going to the store and me hearing the alarm going off and asking her if her break is done. I'm upset when I realize that the break is done because I was already running off of barely getting any sleep from like, the, not getting any sleep from like the night before basically. Coming home, still having to deal with the baby by myself and still not getting enough sleep that day because I think she ended up sleeping for like two hours. I'm struggling, you know, so I'm like so tired and so irritable to the point where it's just like, oh my god, I, 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 I need to get some sleep or I'm going to flip the table. Emotionally, obviously. Because flipping the table in real life is kind of ghetto. But you know, that's where I was at. So um, today now I come home and I literally crash. So bad. When I came home this morning, I, I um, we ended up stopping and like getting a sandwich. Because yeah, my friend that yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. I come yeah, with most yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Some days she just feels like she has to get some breakfast, otherwise she don't feel like she could continue the journey. And other days she's like, fine, so we get some breakfast. I think my light needs to be charged. 
and every time I always stop somewhere to get something, I always take something home for Mia. Plus also I feel like she gets to the point now where she's expecting me to take her something home because I kind of always do. She likes a croissant, so sometimes when I go to Dunkin' I'll bring her a croissant. So I brought her the sandwich this morning, but we also stuck it. We bought it in a grocery store, a new grocery store that opened up by the job. And so I bought her some mangoes in there too, because I told you guys before that she really loves fruits. So I got her some mangoes as well. Yeah, the light is basically dead. And so this morning when she came home, we had the, she had the mangoes and like whatever she wanted out of the sandwich for breakfast. And that was kind of good. She really ended up only having the egg out of the sandwich and like a small piece of the bread. But me, I don't, when it comes to food, I don't force her because I always, always, always want her to have a positive relationship with food. I don't want for her experiences to be me forcing her to eat something. No, if she wants it, she'll eat it because she's really good with eating. And if she doesn't want it, then we'll find something else, you know, so. So far, that is a relationship that I'm trying to foster when it comes to like food, dinners, you know, meals in general. So I gave her that. We were in there chilling for a while and we just slept. I was so tired to the point where I ended up having to put her in the crib because I know she um, can't come out of the crib on her own. Turn Miss Rachel on because I, I couldn't keep my eyes open and it's just you know i have to get some sleep so um you know i slept for a little bit and then she woke up and she was crying because she wanted to come out because obviously she's seeing me and i just take her out and put her in the bed and i'm praying to god that one she goes to sleep because i know i'm gonna fall asleep and you know she did for a little bit so we basically spent the entirety of the sunday in bed sleeping on and off me literally keeping my eyes open with a matchstick while she's like watching Miss Rachel on the bed and stuff like that. You know, rough couple of days, but like, you know, what can I do? I don't have any other option or choice. You know, you gotta just make it work. I was just watching um, one of my favorite creators on YouTube too, and she was talking about the fact that, um, she was basically talking about the fact that uh, in her head, she's already decided that she's a single parent, mainly because she is, because I think um, when she had her, ironically, she didn't want kids. Anyway, she ended up getting pregnant. If you guys, her name is Jayla Majette. You must know her. And if not, you can go find her yourself and figure it out. And, um, you know, they ended up having a baby. They were married. They ended up having a baby. And man's just decided that, I don't know, he just was missing in action for a while. And so, you know, right now, the baby is three, four, five. I don't even know how old Jax is, honestly. And, like, now he's around again, I guess, temporarily or whatever. I don't know what the situation is. But she was basically saying... Sometimes she feels like she needs a break or like, you know, you need that time to just sleep. But when you already know that most of the time it's just you, you, that the thought of that goes out of your head. Because who are you going to give the baby to? And I'm like, damn, I feel that so bad. But you know, you either make it work or you make it work. What can I say? So anyway, um, we just did dinner. This is a little bit earlier than we normally would, but these days I've tried to start her off a little bit earlier and like because right now it's 8 p.m normally i would start at 8 30 going into nine so when i start this early you know i could give her a little snack later on and a bottle and like she's completely fine but um you know start dinner a little bit earlier hold on memes so i'm cleaning her up and like cleaning the high chair up as well hold on honey hold on yesterday i was able to get some homework done i mean she was on the floor making noise doing all types of stuff but i literally had to just get it done anyway go up I, i'm telling you being a working mom going back to school taking care of the baby doing this doing that sometimes is mentally taxing but you know obviously i have personal goals for myself and i know that you know these are things that i want to accomplish and i also know that the stage where i'm at right now this is not where i want to stay and so while it's difficult, I still have to, you know, figure it out. I still have to make it work. I still have to juggle all of the things that I'm juggling and still make it work. Because, you know, in the end, my goal for myself and for my kids is for us to have a good life. You know, one where it's not so hard. We're not struggling. You know what I mean? And that's going to take all of the dedication and all of the, you know, everything that I'm giving it right now. So... I try not to complain even in the moment where I'm so very stressed and, you know, take it to the chest, as I've recently started saying these days. Because it just is what it is, you know? In the end, it's all going to be worth it. Right now, it's, it's a little bit difficult, you know, to juggle it all. But in the end, 
when all of it is done, because obviously this is not gonna last forever. All of these struggles are just temporary. In the end, it's all gonna be worth it because I'm gonna be able to live the life that I wanna live, and my kids are gonna be able to have a good life, and I'm gonna be able to enjoy aspects of life where certain things are not such a struggle anymore. And so, that's the one thing that I keep telling myself to help me go through basically the difficult um, seasons. Sounds like me agrees, right Mimi? But yeah. So far that's what our Sunday is looking like. Yeah. 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 You guys, I bought me some bows and they're all falling apart at the seam. I'm also trying to coordinate with both of the nannies to see um, who's available for which day today because I can't, I have to leave here by a certain time and I cannot be bothered when the primary, you know, it's her time to come and I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for her. It's 9.30, she says nothing and I'm just sitting and waiting and I'm, I'm essentially having to text her on some, hey, are you almost here? And she's like, you know, yeah, or whatever. And I'm still sitting here until like 10 p.m. or whatever. I have to leave here by a certain time to like get to work early. You know, my productivity depends on me leaving at a certain time, on the schedule that I set for myself, getting to work at a certain time. You know what I mean? Like all of those things. So I'm asking her if she's available for these days. Because, you know, obviously she already has her schedule. I know um, what her braiding schedule is going to look like for the week. And if she's not available for those days, then, you know, I'm going to schedule the other one for those days. Because it's just not careful, honey. It's just not conducive. Sitting here waiting and, and she's not communicating, you know, and just getting here whatever time. Like, I'm not paying. So, that's kind of where I'm at. I wipe the floors and it feels kind of a little bit slippery, I would say. So I think I'm gonna just go over it with some water because I mixed three different products together when I was doing it the last time. So I think I'm gonna just go over it with some water and a wet mop, the Swiffer wet mop, whatever. But I also feel like, I'm sorry, honey, I need to get a different Swiffer um, wet jet. One that's like a little bit more moppy. These pads that I bought, I ended up buying them on Walmart. So they're not like the exact brand Swiffer. They're like the Walmart version of whatever. So that might be my issue here too, but I get more in the box with the Walmart version for less, which made sense to me at the time. So I'm gonna see, essentially, cause I'm down to like my last few. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna change those or whatever. But also I'm constantly having to wipe the floor, especially around Mia's high chair. Because one thing Memes is gonna do, she's gonna eat and she's gonna throw some stuff off, you know? And so that's another facet to all of this, right? I, I'm starting dinner time a little bit earlier because now I'm having to make sure that I clean up if, like after her, you know, wipe the high chair down, sweep the floor, wipe up whatever she spilled, just all the things. Right now the living room is kind of in disarray too because now she obviously knows how to like take the letters in the ABC mat apart and so the last couple of days seeing how it is, I've really been thinking about taking the ABC um things up her godmother bought that for her jewels and i love it and she doesn't quite know the letters of the alphabet yet so taking it up is kind of annoying me a little bit but also it's not conducive and my mental health and it looking the way it looks right now isn't really meshing together very well anyway i'm gonna clean up the sink because i like to leave the kitchen and the sink really nice and clean so when i come home in the mornings it is in the same condition so I that's also something i try to do at night in terms of like turning down the kitchen so I'm going to do that really quickly. We're going to chill out in the room for a little bit because we have a little bit of time since we started um, all of this early. Hey, yes. But um, yeah, I'm going to clean up. Stop taking her at all and she was all over the place. But it's so interesting to watch. As we know, her videos are always interesting. But she's off the deep end. <laughs> My friend just texted me too about some guy who seemingly knows me from like the community that we used to live in in Jamaica. She said she was talking to him and she was mentioning that she has two friends, one here and one there. And he was like, oh, the one that's here, I know her. <laughs> so she sent me a picture of him and she was like, do you know this guy? But also I'm so bad with faces. Sometimes my mom is showing me some people on video call and I'm like, I don't know these people. And I hate that she does that because it feels so bad to say, I don't know the people. When obviously at some point in my life, I know of them. I just can't remember who they are, you know? But you know, parents are wild. But yeah, we're going to clean up the kitchen, go enjoy some air conditioner in the bedroom because it's hot as balls out here and I can't even. I mean, I could turn the air on in the living room and yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, 
you guys later.